I don't do this often, so it will take me it will take me a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm gonna do that while I talk to you about the benefits. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerardo and I love hair. Today I'm comparing finger rolling versus finger coiling and talking about the pros and cons of these techniques. So let's get into it. So I just divided my hair. I prepped my hair with the Moisture Recovery Leave-In Curl Milk. I made a review about this. I'm going to leave the link here. Um, but essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to be comparing on both sides how each technique uh, looks on my hair. Um, I think on this side I will be, I'll be doing uh, finger uh, coiling and on this side I'll be doing finger rolling. Um, so yeah, basically uh, that's, that's what I'm going to do. I did <laughs> finger rolling once when my hair was more shorter. I think it was around, around here when I when I did it just to try to try out you know the technique and I really like it oh and I'm gonna time out how long it takes me for you know to do all this length of hair half of my head how long it takes me on each technique so let's start first with finger coiling which I think is the more, most popular one because you just grab a strand and you coil it around your or trail it around your your finger so let me just um i'm gonna add the BLN um hydrating styling cream uh for curly hair i've made reviews about this uh, i'm not really sure if we can get it um anywhere besides latin america but if you can it's a good one and I'm just gonna put it all over my section to aid the curls. So now that my hair is wet and has the hydrating styling cream from Vietnam, so I'm gonna grab this one. Let me pull all this hair out of the way. Because I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this without disturbing all my hair, but we'll see. Um, this one that seems to be a curl. Just move it up here. Uh, take this one as an example. I'm gonna grab a little bit of gel. I'm gonna put it in the section. I'm just gonna coil the hair. To itself and there you have the curl I don't know if you can see it there you have the curl so that's the first technique um, again I'm gonna time out how long it takes me to do half my head um, taking consideration that I'm not I'm not a um, I don't do this often so it will take me it will take me a little bit longer so yeah i'm gonna do that while i talk to you about the benefits and the cons of finger coiling and i'll be back to show you then this side that's gonna be finger rolling so in curlcentric.com um, i found a few pros and cons in the pros, it mentions that it's easy for beginners, it's easy to maintain and refresh and last for several weeks. It will work with different curl types as long as your hair is clean, moisturized, and you use the correct products and tools. And in the cons, 
depending on the length and density of the hair could be a tedious task because it may take several hours and it doesn't work well with all curl patterns. It is the best for tight curls. Then on naturalhairinsights.com, uh, I found that they completely agree with the uh, curlcenter.com info that I found with the fact that it is best for tighter curls, resulting in popping curls with tons of body and bounds. And if you have wavy curly hair, you'll end up with a well-defined Goldilocks appearance to your hair. So, these are the finger coils. You can see they're pretty defined. Not difficult to do. Um, takes a little, a little, you know, hand coordination or to roll the, the hair in itself to, you know, to coil it. Um, but it only took me, up. <laughs> it only took me 24 minutes, which is a long time. Uh, but we'll see how this turns out. Uh, on this side, like I said, let me apply some water because it's been sitting here for a while. And it's definitely time consuming, but it's not difficult to do. Uh, if I can make it, any, if I can do it, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, but I actually just rather just use my my brush and unstyle my curls uh, also my arms oh they're killing me but <laughs> let's see and when i did the finger uh, rolls they were also time consuming but i feel like those were were a little more faster i don't know why but we'll see um yeah just some water this hair because it's been waiting for its turn and again i'm gonna apply the hydrating styling cream for curly hair by violin Uh, all over. And I'm going to do the same thing. The only difference is I'm going to grab a section back here to start. So I'm gonna put some gel. Oh, I, I, I mentioned I'm using the anti-shedding styling gel with honey from Cantu. So I did a, a review of this gel. Uh, none of my reviews have been sponsored, so you can be sure that my opinion is based solely on my experience. So it's completely honest. So I'm gonna put gel on it. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other one. I'm going to find a section of hair that I feel like it's a family of curls. That would do a good, a good curl. And the way to do finger rolling is that you go on the ends and you roll it around your fingers. And then you start rolling. Let's see if I can make it because I uh, have really long hair. I don't know how to make it. So you just roll, roll, roll your hair up to the root. Hold a little bit and then you just let it down. And essentially that's the curl you will get. Let me do another one 
See if this time I can actually show you better. I'm gonna grab this section. Section is fine. I'm gonna smooth out this section. And I'm gonna roll my fingers from the ends, from the ends to the root. Try not to tangle the hair because you can easily tangle your hair, but I'll roll, roll, roll. I know it's easy to say how to do it. It just takes some practice. Just hold it a little bit here and then you just put it all down. And this is the curls. So you see the curls are slightly different, but um, yeah, let me just put the timing again and see what's the difference between these two. I'm going to reset and I'm going to start and again, I'll talk to you about the benefits of uh, finger rolling and the cons. On glam.com, most of the pros and cons seem to be very similar to finger coiling, which is easy for beginners to do and it's easy to maintain, refresh, and the style will last several weeks. And some of the pros of finger rolling is that it results in a very uniform look, especially for people who aren't ready to cut off damaged hair yet. Uh, the big con is that how time consuming it is. And on naturallycorely.com, it cites that it is slightly complicated than finger coiling but becomes easy once you pick up the technique and the rolling motion makes the curl smooth and sleek. This one and this one were heavy for me. I um, find it a little hard to figure out how to make this side the finger rolling. So let me show you how the curls are. You see, the Style is slightly different. This one's more tubular, like tube. They're pretty much defined the same. Uh, oh, and this took me 31 minutes, almost 32. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna diffuse. I'm not gonna scrunch or anything. I'm just gonna leave it as it is just to show you how the curls are without any you know, encouragement by crunching the hair. And all I'm going to do is diffuse and I'll be back and give you my final thoughts on finger coiling and finger rolling. So you can see, notice the difference. This side, this side has more volume than this one, but this one it's more defined. And this one, this one's more defined, but I think because I had to do larger sections, uh, the curls separate more. And because it's a, sort of like a tube, um, the pattern is not as tight on this, like on this one. So comment below which side you like. Do you like the finger coils or the finger rolls not really sure which so finger rolls on my left and finger coils on my right really liking the finger coils and it was pretty fast to make i mean 20 20 something minutes um i don't know if i would do <laughs> like an hour already on my whole head um, when using a brush it's much more easier to style my hair but I could definitely see why some people use these techniques to define the front of their of their face uh, the front of, of their hair and certain pieces that don't really uh, clump in the, in the back of, of their head so yeah there's definitely that benefit uh, it will definitely take a long time to do it all over the head 
Uh, so my arms are really tired after doing this. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more of my content, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Remember, you can follow me all across social media at Panacurls. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye.